Hello. I was out early this morning in the wind. It's a very windy day. Now, some people like the wind and some people don't like the wind. It tears at our hair and our clothes. It damages the carefully grown and arranged plants in our gardens. It can rip the leaves off the trees and sometimes whole branches. But for me, I find the wind invigorating. And I choose that word carefully because the root of the word invigorating is life, life giving. And there's a good theological reason for that. When God first made humankind, he breathed into the nostrils of the man to give him life. And that word that was written down in Hebrew, breath, is the same word that we translate wind or spirit. So God breathed his breath or his spirit to give life to the man. When the disciples experienced the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, they heard him as a rushing wind and saw him as tongues of flame. Now the New Testament wasn't written in Hebrew, it was written in Greek. And the word that we translate as a rushing wind is pneuma with a PN as in pneumatic tire, meaning wind or breath or spirit. I love being out in the wind. I love feeling that invigorating power of the wind. Because the wind can be powerful enough to tear down trees, to whip up waves. But that same word, that same idea of wind and breath and spirit can be as gentle as the breathing of a sleeping baby. Today, if the Spirit calls to you, welcome him in. Know that he can be as powerful as a rushing wind and as gentle as the breathing of a sleeping baby. But he is never passive. If you get a chance, go out into the wind and experience the wind. It's not the spirit, but it gives a good idea of the strength and the power. And learn to feel that invigorating power of the wind and the spirit in our lives. God is spirit. And God lives in us by his spirit when we welcome him. Imagine the power of God and the gentleness of God living in us and welcome him today. Keep safe.